At the beginning of 2021, Cambodia's first light attack aircraft was delivered by China in mid January. It's the FTC 2000G, the export version of Guizhou JL9 trainer, also known as the Mountain Eagle. The agreement between Cambodia and China was signed in early 2020. According to sources familiar with the matter, Cambodia has ordered six of these planes in total. All will be handed over between now and 2023. The Guizhou JL-9 was developed by the Guizhou Aviation Industry Company for the People's Liberation Army Air Force and the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force. The aircraft started as an inexpensive trainer for a fourth generation aircraft. The trainer was revealed at the 2001 China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition. The FTC 2000, as the JL-9, competed with the Hongzhou JL-10 to meet the advanced trainer requirements of the People's Liberation Army Air Force and People's Liberation Army Navy Air Force. The JL-10 is more technologically advanced, but also more expensive than the JL-9. In 2013, both had entered production. A carrier landing trainer variant was revealed by Chinese state media in 2011. Designated the JL-9G, it has strengthened under courage, enlarged wing, and divertly supersonic ELS but has proved to be unsuitable for arrested landings and is limited to land-based operations. The Guizhou JL-9 is developed from the JJ-7 or FT-7, the two-seat trainer version of the Chengdu J-7, a Chinese variant of the MiG-21. The Guizhou uses a new wing, a forward fuselage with side air intakes, and a glass cockpit. The engine, empennage, and mechanical controls of the JJ-7 are retained. Guizhou JL-9 has a length of 14.5 meters, a wingspan of 8.32 meters and a height of 4.1 meters. Empty weight is 4.96 tons and maximum takeoff weight is 9.8 tons. The fuselage is tubular with slab size and the frontal section is dramatically sloped along its dorsal line to provide excellent vision over the nose assembly through a single piece, lightly framed canopy. The canopy covers two pilots seated in tandem. The student pilot in front with the structure at the rear in the slightly raised cockpit position. A single turbofan engine is used and this is aspirated by two small semi-circle intakes fitted to either side of the exterior cockpit wall. The JL-9 is powered by Guizhou Li Yang WP-13F afterburning turbojet engine with 43.15 kN drive thrust and 63.25 kN afterburner. We shall can reach a maximum speed of 1,100 km per hour. Cruise speed is at 170 km per hour. Range is at 163 km. 
surface length is 16,000 meters. Rate of climb is 150 meters per second at sea level. The Guishao JL9 has upgraded a Phoenix and engine. It is intended to train pilots to fly high-performance aircraft, such as advanced fourth-generation fighters, the J-10 and Su-27. The cockpit is on Martin with two full-color multifunction displays in the forward cockpit and three in the rear. A conventional control stick is set between the legs for each pilot and thruster controls are set to the left side of the cockpit core. This aircraft has a secondary light attack capability. It is fitted with four underwing hard points and one center hard point. The JL-9 can carry up to 2,000 kilograms of weapons, including short-range air-to-air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, bombs, and rocket pods. It is also fitted with a 23mm cannon. The JL-9 can carry three drop tanks under its wings and fuselage. Furthermore, an in-flight refueling probe can be installed. Designed to optimize training capabilities, the JL-9 has shown the future of a fighter and especially the ability to simulate emergency situations. China even considered the FTC-2000G as a mountain fighter and as it advertises, this is the cheapest Mantaron fighter in the world. The price of this aircraft is just over $8 million, including training costs as well as replacement parts. Currently, in addition to China and Cambodia, Sudan is also using this aircraft in service. My video about the Chinese Weishou JL-9 Trainer and Light Combat Aircraft answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.